Well, Evanston police are now working with Northwestern police to keep students safe after a series of recent attacks. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now live from the Hyman Avenue and Sheridan Road where all those attacks near where those attacks happened. Hi, Mike. Hi, and we expect to see police from Evanston out here both on foot and in their squad cars because, well, the latest attack happened right here on Hyman Avenue, which you see behind me right now. As we push in with the camera, I want to give you a sense of just how close the other ones are to this very spot. You can see a traffic light in the background. That's Chicago and Sheridan. That's where the first attack happened. And then just about 100 yards west of that light, that is where the second attack happened. So we're talking about a very, very close area. They all began a couple of days before Halloween and continued for nearly two weeks. And according to Evanston police, they all included women being harassed by male offenders. The first incident happened on the evening of October 29th on Chicago Avenue at Sheridan. As we said, the next one happened on November 4th on University Place, the last one four days after that on Hinman. All involved victims being approached from behind. That's when University Police say the assailants either grabbed the victims or their backpacks. One man was arrested in one of the incidents, the second one. No one has been busted in the other two cases, and the final incident actually involved two men. That's why investigators at this point don't believe the incidents are linked. Now, police are asking students to take their headphones off or at least turn them down so they can be more aware of their surroundings. They are also saying they should utilize the ride share program that is offered here at the university. These rides are offered for free to any university student or faculty member who calls and needs a ride between the hours of 7 in the evening and 3 in the morning. Reporting live from the campus of Northwestern University, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? Mike, thank you.